Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Worst Possible Commander Show brought to you by CoolStuffInc.com. It's me, it's CGB. You may not have recognized me at first. Understandable. I don't always dress like this, but when I do, it could only mean one thing. New Capenna release. And we've got new cards and I'm here with my friends Ben and Blake and Shay. And we are going to showcase commanders and cards from the awesome new set of Magic the Gathering the streets of New Capenna. So, uh, guys, are you excited? I, I mean, look around the table. We got, you guys bring it. I, I was not expecting the swag level this high. I, I, I knew I was, I knew my Amazon.com suit was gonna be fresh, but I did not expect all of this. So, feast your eyes, everybody. Now that you've had that view, let's talk about what we do here, which is the worst possible uh, thing that our decks can do to each other. So, I'll go first. My commander is Rafine, Scheming Seer. This is a legendary creature, Sphinx Demon. It is a 1-4 flying ward one, and it says whenever you attack, target attacking creature connives X, where X is the number of attacking creatures. And connive is a new ability where you draw X cards, then discard X cards. Put a plus one, plus one counter on that creature for each non-land card discarded this way. So I took this commander in a direction of I wanted to do reanimator, and usually when you do reanimator, you need three things. You need a way to discard a creature, you need a big creature, and you need a spell to reanimate it. But the Rafine in the command zone means I can probably discard the creature and get plus one, plus one counters for doing so, as long as I get to attack something. So I added some big creatures and a couple of reanimate spells. So the worst possible thing I can probably do to you is reanimate Jingataxis and everybody will have a max hand size of zero, so they'll have to discard their hands, and uh, I would draw seven cards. Um, I believe it's like at, on my end step or something like that. This is in Phyrexian. I don't speak full Phyrexian yet. I may have to look something up from time to time. Uh, but I've also got the other Praetors, because I got the secret layer. Uh, so I've got Sheldred, and uh, I've got Elish Norn, all that stuff. So that's uh, Rafine Reanimator. That's what I'm doing, and probably as nasty as it gets. So. Ben? Ben? What? Ben? Are you in there? <laughs> ben? Can't tell. He's like, he's, dude, it's full Blues Brothers over here. <laughs> How are you doing today? What are you playing, and what's the worst possible thing that you're going to do to us? I'm doing great. I am playing Zayatora the Incinerator. And the, he um, is a Demon Dragon 6-6 six, six, flyer. At the beginning of my end step, you may sacrifice another creature. When you do, he deals damage equal to that creature's power to any target, and you create three treasure tokens. The worst possible thing I can do, got a little ramp with uh, Old Gnawbone. I'm sure a lot of you know that one. It's a 7-7 seven, seven flyer. Whenever a creature deals combat damage to a player, I create that many treasure tokens. And another way to ramp is with the new Bootlegger's Sash artifact and lands I control it have tapped create a treasure token. So all my additional lands that I didn't use last turn, I just tap them at CGB's end step and make more treasures. And then with <laughs> those treasures, I'm gonna try to win at my upkeep with uh, Revel in Riches. Whenever a creature an opponent controls dies, create a treasure token. And then at my upkeep, if I would control 10 or more, I win the game. So Ben, you're gonna be that guy. The one making treasures on treasures with more treasures, because they're all over the place in this set. Mm -hmm. A lot of people have noticed it, and now here we are. We've got our treasure tribal gamer over here. Yep, we do indeed. <laughs> all right, Blake. What you, what you doing there, Blake? What's, what's... When we first started this show, I coined the phrase, peace in our time, because I wanted there to be peace between us. But game in and game out, we killed each other, and I realized that there could be no peace unless I make it myself. So today, I'm going to be playing Lord Xander, the Collector, who is a four in Grixis for a 6-6, six, six. and when he enters the battlefield, target opponent named CGB discards half their cards in their hand, rounded down, target opponent. Whenever Lord Xander attacks, defending player mills half their library, rounded down, and when Lord Xander dies, Target opponent sacrifices half their non-land permanents, rounded down. Now, for the worst possible thing I could do is get out Bruvac and attack somebody, because that makes them mill their entire deck, and they will immediately lose when they draw the next card. 
Another very powerful card in the deck is Steronic Resonator, which I can pay two and tap to double a triggered ability, which all three of his abilities are triggered. That's the worst possible thing I can do, and I look forward to bringing peace. Well then, Shay, <laughs> what's the worst possible thing you can do uh, now that full heal Blake mode over here is done with the monologue? <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I'm uh, playing a Naya token creature deck with Jetmir Nexus of Revels as my commander. Um, so he costs four, he's a cat demon, and creatures you control get plus one, plus O, oh, and have vigilance as long as you control three or more creatures. Creatures you control also get plus one, plus O, oh, and have trample as long as you control six or more creatures. And lastly, creatures you control also get plus one, plus O, oh, and have double strike as long as you control nine or more creatures. Yeah, so, you know, Jemir likes to party. And so what we're doing here is creating a lot of party goers uh, with the tokens. Um, so as far as my worst possible, Assemble the Legion is first. Um, it costs five, it's an enchantment. At the beginning of your upkeep, put a muster counter on Assemble the Legion. Then put a 1-1 red and white soldier creature token with haste onto the battlefield for each muster counter on Assemble the Legion. Pair that with the doubling season, uh, which of course doubles my tokens and doubles the uh, counters that in effect would put on a permanent. Um, you know, that is going to create a lot a lot of tokens um, because of, it's gonna double the counters here, creating the tokens, lots of, um, yeah, lots of like Just exponential growth. Yeah, yeah, I'll yes. probably have to add some space over here. <laughs> Shay's going to rule the streets by numbers alone. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, and then to finish it off, uh, Impact Tremors, which costs two, it's an enchantment. Whenever a creature enters the battlefield under your control, Impact Tremors deals one damage to each opponent. She doesn't even need all the Jetmere text. She's just going <laughs> to kill us outside of combat or then do kill some of us outside of combat and the rest in combat. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. I mean, I don't know about you. I'm ready for another episode of Blake and CGB battle to the death. Ben tries to do cool things and Shay kills everyone with an army. <laughs> Let's dive in. Seems prophetic to me. <laughs> Let the streets of Nuka Fena powered nonsense begin. <laughs> All right, guys, we've got our hands ready to go and we're rolling to see who goes first. I dropped a one. I got a one. Three. Oh my God. <laughs> Shay goes first. With, With a, a three. three. All right. Okay, okay. And if you're expecting a lot of bad mob jokes and accents, <laughs> I'm, I'm for one like trying not to overly partake in the accent because there's <laughs> going to be so much of it, but the, the answer is it'll be there. I don't, I don't think we can avoid it for long. Not dressed like this. <laughs> We'll play a forest, <laughs> and then we'll tap that forest for a Birds of Paradise, and then we'll pass. Is anybody else jealous already? I <laughs> am. Oh, good old Bob. Off to the races. Yeah. I'll draw. Collect. I will play Takanuma Abandoned Mire and pass. Draw for a turn. Play a Savage Lands tap and pass. I'll draw for a turn. See if this is gonna make anyone else jealous. I will pay two life for a steam vents. Soul ring. Mm -hmm. And I'll pass my turn. Mm -hmm. He's doing the thing. I'm off to the races. Cliff top retreat enters tapped. Then we'll tap my forest and my bop for Farseek. Search for a plains, island, swamp, or mountain. Put onto the battlefield tapped and then shuffle. All right, so I grabbed a Jetmir's Garden, which enters tapped. Okay. Ooh, the new Tri-Lands. Yes. Uh, then I'll pass the turn. I want to go fetch a Tri-Land. It's good. So I'm going to play my Polluted Delta. Uh, okay. And yeah, let's do it. I'm going to go, I'm just going to crack it now and go find Rafine's Tower, the new Esper Triome-like card. I can tap for any of the manas I need, and I can fetch it with Polluted Delta. Oh, oh, what a beautiful world this is. <laughs> ben, go ahead. Oh, untap, draw. 
will play an exotic orchard and pass. Untap and draw. I will play a Misty Rainforest and crack it. I want to join the Triome party. Ooh. Foil showcase Xander's Lounge. Are you trying to assert mana base dominance? <laughs> Trying and succeeding. Ooh. <laughs> it, it burns. Ooh, I'm sure it does. <laughs> I feel it right now. <laughs> it's, it's, is it hot in here or is it just me? Is oh, it it's you, suit? all right. It's the suit. And that said, your debt is due. I will play a professional face breaker. This is a new card from New Capenna. This is a 2 3 with menace. Whenever one or more creatures you control deals combat damage to a player, create a treasure. I can sacrifice a treasure to exile the top card of my library and play it that turn. No, pass my turn. Professional face breaker. I love it. Watch your face. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. That is an epic name for a It card. is amazing. I guess they weren't going to call it a hitman. No. <laughs> <laughs> or woman, however they've called it now. They just, just came the up with a new title. Just a professional at it. We're going to tap four for Filadar Retreat. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, oh boy. That's, that's a good turn three play. Already on the We're move. Good. Uh, yeah, then I'm going to pass. The cat beasts are coming, guys. Mm -hmm. This is not a party I want to go to. <laughs> what? Bright, bright climb pathway on the white side. And Rafine, Scheming Seer, that is my commander. Your turn, Ben. All right. Untap nothing, draw. You got to get on the board, Ben. I know. You, you got to play along with the with the group. Join There's a professional ben. face breaker on the battlefield. <laughs> and I see three faces. Play a mountain for turn. And I'll pass. <laughs> now, Shay, do you like professional face breaker enough to get attacked by it? Or not quite that much? Mm, maybe not that much. You gotta, you gotta test out somebody who you're thinking about hiring. You gotta test their skills. It's true. The mm. best way might that's be to just feel point. your face getting broken by them and see how it goes. I mean, that's a fair point, but I don't know. Shay, I will attack you with a 2-3 professional face breaker. Ooh. Okay, I'll take two. Your debt is due. I will make a treasure, and then I will spend five mana cast Mind's Eye. This is an artifact. Whenever an opponent draws a card, I can pay one, and if I do, I draw a card. Wow. Let's start drawing. I'll pass my turn. <laughs> wow. Okay. That includes when I connive. That's oh, not does fair. It? Oh, goodness. That's because I'd have to discard. Okay, I will discard. sacrifice a treasure to draw a card when you draw. Okay. Thank wow. you. you. You were really patient on that one. <laughs> <laughs> First we'll tap two for Arcane Signet. And we're gonna tap three for an Aura Shards. <sighs> Game on. Okay. Okay then. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Yikes. <laughs> uh, then we're gonna pass the turn. This is interesting. She's missing land drops, but then she plays an ore shard. I and know. I, my all of my that's whenever BT that's whenever a creature dissipates. comes into play. Yes. Whenever a creature comes under into play control. under my control, you may destroy target artifact or enchant. Yeah, all of the the pity that I once. All right, spent. my turn. My turn. Let's do this. Draw. I will attack Shay with Rafine, the scheming seer. Uh, whenever I attack, target attacking creature connives X, where X is the number of attacking creatures, so connive one. That means I draw one card and I discard. If I discard a non-land, put a plus one, plus one counter on the creature for each non-land card discarded this way. So it's draw X, discard X. Since I attacked with one, it's draw one, discard one. Okay. I am going to discard Agent of Treachery, and I'm going to put a plus one, plus one counter on Rafine, Scheming Seer, and maybe hit you for two, Commander. Yeah, you'll hit me for two commander. I'll play a full art foil island from the new set. Beautiful. You love that. I, I, I love introducing the new lands. <laughs> of they, course. They've been killing it. Like, yes. They haven't had a set in a while with ugly basic land. It just no. it hasn't been happening. Sir. All right. I'm going to cast Dread Return. Return target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. I'm targeting Agent of Treachery. Seems good to me. Mm -hmm. When Agent of Treachery enters the battlefield, gain control of target permanent. I'm going to target the Aura Shards. No! Yes. That's funny. <laughs> mm, 
Okay. Or shards is one of my wife's favorite cards. She is not gonna like. If anything bad happens from here on with this horror shard, she is not going to like this video. <laughs> but you should like the video, viewers. Ben, go ahead. Nice. I will drop. Play a forest return. I just got these horror shards. You don't, don't, don't mess gonna, with them, Ben. I'm going to tap four. First play of the game. Let's do an involuntary employment. New card from the set. Gain control of target creature until end of turn. Untap that creature, it gains haste until end of turn, create a treasure token. I the will professional target... face breaker. <laughs> yeah, no, you break I will faces. target your commander, CGB. Um, this has ward one. If oh, you target it, it, it will get oh, countered. Oh, man. Mm. Darn, missed that. Yeah, that's that's the one, though. Enjoy. Yeah, I, I get mean, it back, I'm, right? Yeah, at okay. the end of the turn. Don't break my face. Unless he sacrifices it somehow. With no mana? No mana. <laughs> well, <laughs> he's about to make some, right? That's true. Yeah, I, I just made a treasure token. And yep. You get a treasure token. Boom. Oh, no. And when Facebreaker hits something, you get another one. <laughs> oh, I do. Yes, thank you, though. No. Sir, Sir Gangster. You never forget. Sir Gangster. Sir Gangster. <laughs> My gangster. I will attack CGB with a Menace 2 3 professional Facebreaker. All right. Professionally broken face here. And then I will make a treasure token. I'll pass my turn, and you will get your card. Back. Thank you very much. How you doing over there? Oh, that's a draw. I'm going to play a Prismatic Vista and then sacrifice it. Getting an island. And as much as I would love to play Xander right now, I don't mm -hmm. think Mind Stone's going to last long. So Mind's I will be eye. drawing cards off of that while I can. Ah. Uh, okay, you're going to you're going to just kind of take care of that Mind's Eye for a minute. Gotcha. Uh, I will move to combat. Shay, I will attack you for two. How's your face? How's your face feeling? <laughs> it's broken. That makes sense. I will make a treasure token. I will then tap soul ring to play a sky diamond. And I will pass my turn. Mmm, targets. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I will draw a card. Thank you, Shay. Yeah, what well, we got over here, a wise guy? <laughs> yeah? We got a wise guy over here? <laughs> <laughs> you weren't even ready for I was it. Because I didn't do you it for so long. You were saying that you weren't going to do it, and then you <laughs> did it. Because I was holding back. I got bamboozled. I was lining bamboozled. it up for the perfect strike. Wise guy, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Don't make me send my guys after you, you know? You hear? What do you do? Professionally break faces? <laughs> you bet I do. <laughs> So we're going to tap two for Gala Greeters, part of the new set. Uh, yeah, it costs two. It has Alliance. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, choose one that hasn't been chosen this turn. Uh, put a 1-1 one -one counter on Gala Greeters, create a tapped treasure token, or gain two life. What a card. Options on options. Mm -hmm. uh, yep, then I will... Tap my signet for green um, to cast Llanowar Elves, which will trigger Gala Greeters since I've played a creature. I will do it to create a treasure token. The Gala Will you decline my treasure token or will you accept it? I will accept it. Thank you. Um, then I'm gonna tap two for a Cryptolith Rite. Mm which allows me to tap my creatures to add one mana of any color to my mana pool. Wowie. Uh, and with that, I will pass my turn. I untap with aura shards? Um, unfortunately, yes. Oh, yeah. Here we go it's now. Actually. Oh, my goodness. Draw? Mm. Oh, what are we going to do here? Notice I didn't draw a card there. Mm. With mind's eye. Hmm. Just something to point out. Hmm. What something an to point interesting out. thing. Maybe I can tempt you further and see if you'll draw some cards. I'm going to play Fable Passage and sacrifice it. Search my library for a basic land. Untap it if I have four or more lands. Ah, oh, the best color of magic is... Well, that's a kitten. Blue! So I'll get another right. See, I'm saying wise guy, not sarcastically. Uh, actually, Because no. he gets it. What? We're going to get swamped. 
Hey, wise guy, eh? Yeah, we got a wise guy. <laughs> think you know what it's all about, eh? You think I'm funny? Like, like funny what? Funny good. like what? Like I'm a clown? Like you're, you're a music? clown, like you don't mean anything. You're a magician, you maestro. All right, enter combat. Attack a very sus-looking Blake who has declared that he's going to basically destroy me with his commander already with an agent of treachery and a Rafine scheming seal. Trigger, trigger the attack trigger? Trigger results. All right, so I am going to have... Drop two. Well, I've got to decide whether or not to have agent of treachery connive or have Rafine connive. Oh, you connive. can choose who connives? Yes. Oh, that's sick. Uh, whenever you attack, I mean, target cool, attacking right? creature connives. Um, I guess I want people to feel like they need to kill agent, so I'm yeah. going to target the agent. And it's going to connive for two because I have two attacking creatures. So if that resolves, I'm going to draw two, discard two. That resolves. All right, I draw two. Still no. Discard not two, gonna, please. Not going to pay that mana. To be fair, I actually don't get to do that until you finish discard. I mean, okay, 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 okay. I see you. I'll discard City of Brass and Basic Planes. Godzilla Planes, but basic all the all the same. <laughs> and uh, yeah. So that is a... I will pass priority on my triggers. Two commander, four agent of treachery damage coming at you. All right. I feel like he wants to... I feel like he's got something sneaky. So I'm just going to pass. All right. I'm going to play a Westvale Abbey. Mm. Taps for a colorless. Five and tap, pay one life. Create a one, one white and black human player creature token onto the battlefield. Um, five and tap and sack five creatures, transform him, and he's a nine seven, I think, flying indestructible lifelink haster. That sounds right. Yeah. Doll. <laughs> well, we'll find out if there's five yeah. creatures to sacrifice. Yeah, that's not looking too good so far. <laughs> um, I'll tap one, two, three, four, five, and play a seedborn muse. Mm, Untap all permanents you control during each other player's untap step. Priority? Fine by me. Resolves. That will pass. End of turn. I will factor fiction targeting <laughs> CGB. <laughs> it is tradition. It is tradition on the show. Give me the goods. Sure. <laughs> so, um, let's see. A Give four me the lands. tools with which I will end you. So, a signet's a bit awkward. Probably not something he wants too badly. Undercover Operative is an expensive clone. Counter Spell, I know he wants badly. So I think we're going to make you an offer you can't refuse. As part of the resolution, I cannot refuse. Yep, that is yeah, true. It's so hard. <laughs> you, have to, you do have to choose. Oh, I choose. <laughs> All right, Counter Spell and a Signet, huh? All right. Hmm. While you're tapped out, by the way, what you got? Anguish on making targeting mines I. Exile target non-land permanent, I lose three life. Is that life worth it? It is. Is your I, life worth feels it? Feels really good right now, actually. Not gonna lie. <laughs> I will untap. Oh, so cute. I will untap too. We are <laughs> so untapping cute. together. <laughs> I, like, I like when we do things together. I'll move to combat. Combat. Then I'm gonna attack CGB for two minutes. <laughs> of course you are. Face takes it. I've broken so many faces. Thanks for letting me know, Blake. I'm a nice guy. Professional face breaker actually goes face. Maybe, yeah, for sure. It's pretty special. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and tap seven mana for Lord Xander, the collector. Okay. Let's go ahead and roll a die. Shea, one, two, CGB, three, four. You're actually thinking about it? Oh, come on. You want me to, I mean, I just don't, I would target you. All right, you know what? What if that's what I want? Yeah, it could That's be. also it true. It could be, yes. Hmm. hmm, that's a great question, actually. <laughs> Who runs the streets? <laughs> I mean, Ben's got a lot of cards. She's when, only got two. When Lord Xander enters the battlefield, I will target CGB with the discard. And the effect is? You discard half the cards in your hand, rounded down. 
So two if I have five? Yep. Okay. All right, I will discard a new card, Tola's Clever Conductor, which is, you know, a cheap little value creature, no big deal. And Elish Norn, <laughs> the five seven that gives all my creatures plus two, plus two, and all the opponent's creatures minus two, minus two, when it's on the battlefield. The collector has come to collect. <laughs> All right, so we are tapping four for Aurora's God of Victory. The heck is that? Yeah, that's a like gross one. <laughs> it's a god uh, with indestructible. As long as your devotion to red and white is less than seven, it isn't a creature. Creatures you control have menace. Prevent all damage that would be dealt to attacking creatures you control. Okay. <laughs> um, so Hello. This also triggers my Gala Greeters. Uh, I think I'd like to make another treasure. It's tap, that one's tapped though. Tap, though. Oh, there right. you go. So you're matching. Thank you. All right, and then I think I'm going to tap this for white, sacrifice the treasure for a red mana. Um, Tap this for green, and we'll tap here for white to bring out my commander. Jacmir, Nexus of Rebels. Okay. None of the heads of the houses can die until you play yours, and then we can have all four on the battle. <laughs> How's the devotion? You've only, One, you've got two, Felidar. Five, four, five. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So and right, still not a creature. So right now the ability that's turned on is plus one plus zero oh, and vigilance to your creatures. Oh yes, um, yeah. So creatures I control get plus one plus zero oh, and have vigilance as long as you control three or more creatures. Um, the next step up would be six or more creatures. Um, okay. So I'm still hanging out here. Okay. Um, okay. No attacks that I can do this turn because this is technically not a creature. And this is something sick, so I will pass. Okay. Unstop. At your end step, Shay, I will pay five with one being a treasure and tap that and make a one one black and white human cleric. Oh, and lose one life. You have that? I do have that. Hey. <laughs> nice. Hey. Boom. Prepared. It's not foil, though. Yeah. Prepared. You'll love to see it. And then I will, that's, that's all I'll do. Okay, I'm untapping. Yeah, we're untapping together. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Are you gonna do this every time? You're so friendly. Yeah. Stars for you to tap with people. <laughs> I'm friendly until I kill you. What? <laughs> okay. Wow. Okay, Ben. Okay. <laughs> All right, Shay, I'm going to attack you with a four-five agent of treachery, and I'm going to attack Blake with a flying Rafine, the scheming seer. So, when attackers are declared, I will trigger connive. We're going to target Rafine. It's a draw two, discard two. And two plus one plus one counters. Resolve? Mm -hmm. Okay. It's fine by me. Are you a little sad that next time you untap, it's all by yourself? All by my tail. A little bit. Soon, though. So sad. <laughs> it's all by myself. <laughs> I will discard Carmand Car Karmic Guide which is a 2-2 two -two flying, <laughs> echoing protection from black that can return a creature from the graveyard to the battlefield. And I'm gonna also discard Kazuma, God of the Voyage, which has a block of text that I might read later if it matters. <laughs> and uh, pump this up to three. So this is four commander damage for Blake. This is four agent of treachery damage for Shay. No Unless blocks. you're blocking. Okay. You don't want to trade your commander, do you? Eh, no. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'll let you resolve a uh, reanimate if you target the Elish Norn. No. <laughs> no. I'm going to cast Living Death. Each player exiles all creature cards from their oh. graveyard, then sacrifices all creatures he or she controls, then puts all cards he or she exiled this way onto the battlefield. Do you remember this card? I do. I will counterspell it. Ah, you think you're a tough guy? <laughs> you think you run these streets? I think I am. I think fierce guardianship runs these streets. Oh, that's fine. So I'm gonna counter your counter spell. All right. Force of will. 
I do not. <laughs> oh, that would have been epic. <laughs> uh, all right, um, this is going to get interesting for sure. So first, everybody exile all creature cards uh, from their graveyard. Done already. <laughs> all right, I've got these four beautiful cards. Elish Norn, Cosmo, Karmic Guide, oh. and Toulouse. All right, now uh, each player sacrifices all creature he or she's controls. And so we're going to do that. So you have a trigger that's going to go on the stack of lake. Uh, it's when he dies. Oh, he gets sacrificed? Yep. Nice. Truly. All right. Elish Norn, Toulouse, Clever Conductor, Karmic Guide, and Kozuma are entering the battlefield. Triggers uh, are going Great. on the stack. All right. So to the living death, I will sacrifice Lord Xander and put him in the command zone. And that trigger is going to hang out, and we're going to be... It's going to resolve last because these are going to come back and triggers are going to go on top of that because that can't resolve till the living death resolves. So the creatures are going to enter the battlefield. So Shay's creatures died. You put your commander in the command zone. Um, you have what? what is an undercover operative? Yep, and so this is basically a phantasmal image, uh, except if it's a creature I control, I get a shield counter on it. Unfortunately, uh, when this enters the battlefield, if it only enters at the same time as any other creature, it can't target any creatures that enters the battle with, and it enters the battlefield with at the same time. So it will enter as a zero zero, and as a state base effect, die. Yep. So uh, rip hardly knew yet. Mm. I've got some triggers, so I need to target with my karmic guide. I'm going to target agent of treachery. I'm also going to make sure I send Rafine, uh, my commander, to the command zone, and then. These entered the battlefield, so each of these, this connive trigger is also going to be on the stack. We'll put that, say, on top of the karmic guide, I guess, because there's some things I could get that would make the agent more interesting. We'll see if that happens. Um, I also have aura shards triggers, and I'm going to put those on top of these triggers. So, Shay, you don't seem happy about those aura shards <laughs> triggers. No. Uh, I have to declare my targets before we resolve any yep. other stuff. So. I'm going to target the Felidar Retreat. I'm going to target the Cryptolith right. I'm going to target the Soul Ring, because I have a feeling I'm about to get hit by a Xander activation. And I'm also going to target the Sky Diamond. So, are we going to resolve all this stuff? I think you have to choose the opponent, like at this point when it goes on yes, the stack. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm doing some math real quick. Okay. Yeah, I will target Shay. Wow. There's a reason for it. Oh, I it's believe it. It's not spite. It, it it's scares just, it, me. A reason. <laughs> I believe it, and now I'm really afraid. That's a sack <laughs> half their non land uh, OK, right? so we resolve, and we blow up um, the Felidar Retreat. We blow up the Cryptolith right. We blow up the Soul Ring and the Sky Diamond. All right. Um, Clever Conductor, we're going to, Just when it enters the battlefield, it connives, draw a card, then discard a card. And when, from now on, whenever I discard one or more cards, I exile them from the graveyard. And whenever this dies, I put the cards exiled with it into owner's hand. Oh. So, um, connive, draw, then discard. I'll discard this Toxic Deluge, I guess, <laughs> since the battlefield kind of went my way. And I guess I'll put exiled cards under here, if that's fine with And everybody. what happens? When it dies, I return the exiled cards gotcha. to my hand. Okay. If it gets bounced or exiled, I don't get them. Okay. They just go to it's exile. A trigger. Yep. Gotcha. All right. And then Karmic Guide targets Agent of Treachery. Yep. All right. That enters the battlefield. I will target. Man, I want that Westville Abbey. I'm not gonna lie. I kind of want to Ormondal up in here. What do you say, Ben? <laughs> the one person I haven't damaged too you much with this play. You snag my Westvale Abbey? Yeah, I'm trying to snag your you Westvale Abbey, bro. First. In response, I'll tap a forest and crop rotation the Westvale hey. Abbey. Hey! <laughs> what? Let's go! <laughs> he he one up to me on my play. Okay. Now this guy's a real one guy. All. <laughs> that, all. He that owns these streets. Resolve. The Agent of Treachery is an Aura Shards trigger. Um, I better make sure I catch that as well. Yep. Um, Arcane Signet, there's oh. not much left. 
With my crop rotation, I will get an Urborg, Tomb of Yawgmoth. Ooh, everything's a swamp? Everything is a swamp. Mm. Sorry, Shay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then my trigger will resolve if there's none others. I did the surveil, I did the reanimator, I did the, the, the yoink. So yeah, it's uh, Xander time. Goodbye, treasure. Unless you want to kill. No. Is it half non-land permanents? Yes. Oh, oh my gosh. What did you think this yeah, card did? I, I don't know. Oh it's seven mana. I just figured it was game over, man. <laughs> no. Not yet. Okay. I think I've done enough. Your turn. Okay. I will untap my one force. Or swamp, really. Okay, I drew my card. And I will play a forest for a turn. I will tap six for a fiendish duo. First strike, five, five. Whenever a source would deal damage to an opponent, it deals double that damage to that player instead. Whenever a source a would source. deal damage to an opponent, it deals yeah. double. It's it's like a fiery, or that's triple, but yeah, it's yeah. like gratuitous yeah. violence. Gratuitous it's violence. straight up doubling. Okay, right. that's exciting. And then I will sacrifice my treasure for a swamp, and put a Kaya's Ghost Form Perfect. on it. Okay, uh, can we get the full text on the Ghost Form? Because sure. it's kind of a weird card. Enchant creature or planeswalker you control. Whenever enchanted permanent dies or is put into exile, return that card to the battlefield under your control. All right, all right, this is fine. This is fine. Does not have haste, so I will pass. I'm kind of glad you did that, actually. Cool. Because oh, I need that to murder somebody. And it's not going to be me. I was about to say, does that work with his uh, commander, too? He can fling, like, double damage. That's pretty thinking. sick. That is pretty sick. Okay. Uh, something bad is about to happen. Just to you. Just to me. <laughs> <laughs> I will play, is it Signet? And I will tap four to cast a Blasphemous Act. A Blasphemous Act. So 13 damage to all of the creatures. That's why I'm glad you did that. Which is really 26 to opponents. What? Oh wait, no. Right, that's only creatures, yeah. Dang. <laughs> so... I thought Blasphemous Act yeah. nugged us for 30. <laughs> that's insane. Yeah, I wish. Mm. I was thinking of a different card that does excess damage yeah. to opponents. That's a good one. Oh, I had such domination set up. Oh, Blake. boo! <laughs> oh. Where, where's my pact of negation to complete the Blake oh, experience? Okay. <laughs> the Blake experience. I don't have a fierce guardianship. Okay, this is going to die. So oh. it says when it dies, put the cards exiled with it into owner's hand. So I, I get the right. toxic oh, deluge cool. back. And these back. die. Okay. And no more Where? echo to worry about. Where? And he's back. That was nice for us. Mm -hmm. Nice friend. And I will pass my turn. Okay. That was creepy. <laughs> it really was. <laughs> we'll play a forest. Oh, no Felidar retreat. I know. I know. It was <laughs> out for five turns. <laughs> I know. And I didn't draw any lands. So sad. <laughs> messed up. Mm -hmm. That's what that is. That is messed up. And I'm going to pass. Untap. Draw. All right, my commander, blow up your is it signet. What else is new? That's <laughs> fine. Your turn. Pew pew. Untap. Me lands. Draw for a turn. Ooh. That is like the perfect card. I'm going to play a Dar Daragaz's oh, yeah. Caldera. Definitely the perfect card. <laughs> That's not <laughs> the one I drew. Um, it's a layer. In addition to its own Perfect. land types, cool. Um, whenever it comes into play, sacrifice it unless you return a non-lair land you control to its owner's hand. It taps for any color of Jund. I will return this forest to my hand. Because that's not a lair. That's true. And then I'll tap one green and five. My ramp is coming in handy this game, guys. And this is renewal. <laughs> go big or go home. <laughs> On the stack. Fine by me. Okay. You're good. I will search for three lands and gain seven life. They will enter the battlefield tapped. Got a swamp, got a forest, got a mountain. I will go to combat uh -huh. and swing 
first strike at CGB for five. Is it for five or is it for ten? It, it will, will be. It will hit for ten if it hits your face. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I guess I'm taking ten. Okay. Hats off to you, man. It's a oh, good hit. Why? Thank nice. you. Thank you. Uh, your turn, Blake. How's the hat hair? Everything you look fine. You look beautiful. Yeah, it's, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Try the Zoolander looks on him. Like, well, now he's worried. <laughs> Gonna die, but we'll play a Demir Signet. <laughs> yes. I'm gonna pass my Eating stupid my turn. Soul. Uh, Keep it coming. Uh, Let's oh, do this, baby. It's fine. Spend your mana doing this while he kills you with that. I'm manifesting something good. Ooh. Oh, hopefully. Hmm. That doesn't give us more information. Hmm. Probably. That it's not a land. It sound disappointing. It but it didn't sound like a land disappointing. Yeah. I'll pass the turn. Oh man. Shay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't think it was a land disappointing. I don't think so. Play land thanks, land. thanks, Ben. <laughs> yeah, just. You just you really get board states. You just understand them. <laughs> <God>. <laughs> you just, what a beating. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, move to combat. Sure. All right, I'm going to attack Ben because that hit can't go unretaliated sure. uh, against. Yeah, is, that, uh, is that one? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Trigger oh, on the stack. Oh, and I have trigger on the stack. Okay. In response, because I wanted to make sure it went on the stack, I'm going to cast Vampiric Tutor and pay two life and search for a card and put it on top. Oh, that's gross. Okay. That's gross. Some people wait to see their card with Vampiric Tutor. Not this guy. <laughs> so that's on top. Can I have trigger? It goes on stack. If Resolve. that's not a free counter, I'll eat my shoe. It's not a free counter. <laughs> you can eat your shoe now. I'm quite hungry. I'm going to rediscard this Toxic Deluge. <laughs> Remember that card? All right, so Ben, nope. uh, two commander for you. All right. Just boom, boom. And now the card I fetched boom, boom, boom. to blow all your minds is Reckoner Bankbuster. It's it's not. <laughs> it's I was going to. Yeah, I was like, what? <laughs> but it is a sweet card. Um, this enters the battlefield with three charge counters, two and a tap, remove a charge counter to draw a card. If there are no more charge counters, make a 1-1 one, one pilot and make a treasure. The pilot can crew vehicles as though a power were two greater as crew three. So No or sure. Card draw, hurts. baby. I'm done. Right. Untap all these lands. We'll play a forest. I will tap six. These six. And play my commander, hey. Zaya so, Tora, the incinerator. He's a flying six six. Incinerator. He does stuff. Neat stuff. Incinerate something, dude. Let's Incinerate do this. Incinerate something. Or now, someone. can we get the full read? Yeah, at sure. At the beginning of your end step. Yes, I may may sacrifice another creature. Okay. When I do, he deals damage equal to that creature's power to any target, and I create three treasure tokens. Okay. Oh. Hmm. That's pretty good. I'm gonna go to combat. I did say I'd save Blake for last. Thank you. You did? did. You definitely so, don't need to hold on to that. I'm gonna <laughs> attack Shay for five. First strike, if it deals damage to you, it will do 10. What's he gonna do with it? Is that, are you gonna block? <laughs> Poor Shay, how did you not attack CGP? I mean, that open, like my open man is respected. Uh, no. Shay is not so much. Well, we gotta get Shea the cards out of your hand that. at some point. This we talk, you forget about what this game is. It's not about all the yous. It's about you and you and you. That's the way it is. It's about you and me. It'll eventually be about you and me. We'll get there. Ben. Yes. I don't really want to take 10 damage. That's, that is fair. That is a lot. <laughs> That's a third of your health. And what you gonna do about it? <laughs> I will tap this for a white for no. a swords oh, plow What is oh, happening? Oh, <laughs> I love it. Yeah. I was not expecting that, to be honest. Okay, it will resolve. Exiled. What? What's We're using so many resources to I deal know. with the non-problems right now. Ben, what's the name of that creature? 
fiendish duo? It doesn't matter what his name is because he's swimming with the fishes. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh I did cement black to you and put it in the water. Life, yes, you will. <laughs> okay. I didn't too want battle to. that was I exiled. didn't want to, but I also didn't want you to should, take 10 yeah, damage. I was very surprised he attacked you. Yeah. Um. Hey, you had to earn your respect, right? They have to respect you when your man is up. <laughs> if they don't I, respect you, you got to take them out. Whack. <laughs> That's why you said Whack. the professional face breakers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll go to my end step, and I can't sacrifice another creature because it's another, and he's his himself. So <laughs> I will pass to Blake. What a travesty that whole sequence was. I don't know not why. I don't know why he's so upset. <laughs> They're not even his cards. <laughs> Nobody attacked him. Nobody. I will spend five mana for Urabrask, Heretic Praetor. This is a new card from New Capenna. It's a 4-4 with haste. At the beginning of my upkeep, exile the top card of my library. I can play it this turn. At the beginning of each opponent's upkeep, the next time they would draw a card this turn, instead they exile the top card and they can play it this turn. So you don't get to bank your cards, you have to play them the turn you draw them. Fun. Indeed. I'm sure everybody really appreciates that. <laughs> I think you're the only one who really doesn't. Oh, you think that? You think I don't like that? I'm not a coward, so I'm going to attack CGB. Raw. Do you like, your, you like your new fancy mythic over there? You can spend your card to kill it, I don't care. Drown in the luck. Fine. <laughs> Swimming with the actual That's fine. fishes. <laughs> we have to get that card out of his hand, and if I have to sacrifice, I will. Pass turn. You gotta pass the turn. Ooh, that, that open mana. Shea posturing over there. Getting ready. Getting ready to do something oh, else. Get those shoulders away Yeah, there you go, there you go. Just knocks me over. That's right. <laughs> you show him who's boss. One of my favorite cards. I'm gonna cast Luminar Gas Pyron. <laughs> What? So, <laughs> was it something I said? <laughs> it wasn't. It, no, 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 no. No, this, 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 is my, this, is my, this is my gamer right here. Your gamer. This is my card. This one's got you. Trigger aura shards. <laughs> Boom, get out of here. I get love that I'm getting here. my complaint equity back, though. I won't lie. Yeah, you do. Move to combat. Luminarch, Aspirant, counter on Rafine. Resolve. Uh, Rafine. Goes against the person trying to rally all the troops against me. That would be Blake. It's not working. So I'm attacking <laughs> You're attacking you. attacking each other. This has three. Can I trigger on the stack? Does it resolve? Yes. All right. Draw a card. Then I must discard. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh. That's what we love. Oh, That's this what we is love tough. to hear. No, I don't yeah. like that. He can't even cast whatever he trigger oh, before it resolves. Oh, gosh. This is tough. Man, are we friends? Not really. Right now, yeah. Good deal, Ben. That is a correct answer. What the fuck? I'm going to discard this Force of Will. Whoa. <laughs> okay. And move up to three. Mm. So, uh, wow. four commander damage. It also just occurred to me, viewer, that earlier I discarded some lands and still put counters on my stuff. And that's not how connive works. That's not how it works. That was a mistake. But if you left some comment thinking you're better than me, <laughs> down there in the comments, think you're than you me? think you're better than me? Think you're better than? Because you didn't. Because I played some new card for the first time, and you knew it, I did wrong, and I didn't. You think you're better than me? You can go delete it now. It's fine. Or just edit it and uh, add some reaction to this brilliant thing I just came up with and said. All right, um, <laughs> I'm done. Go ahead, man. Okay. <laughs> um, add your end step, actually. I'm gonna tap a green and two and flash in most wanted onto my commander. It's an enchantment aura. He gets plus two, plus one, and when he dies, I create two treasure tokens. Ooh, ooh, okay. Then I'll go to my turn, untap. I will tap five. And play a Brash Taunter. Ooh, that's a cool one. What? He is indestructible, he's a one one. Whenever he is dealt damage, it deals that much damage to target opponent. For a red and two and tap him, he can fight another creature. Oh, cool. That's cool. Yeah, so cool. <laughs> All right, I will go to combat. I'll swing my commander at CGB. Oh, we were friends. He just asked if he <laughs> was I friends. Just, what changed? <laughs> Oh, the only thing I did I'm a gangster. The only thing I did. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. 
We lie too. Deals last as long as I want them to last, you know? Exactly. Oh. This guy knows what's up. I do. <laughs> that was amazing. All right, how much? How much? It is eight. Eight? Commander. Eight damage from your commander. Yes. All right. I'm gonna tap two in my second main phase. Yeah. And play Fatal Grudge. An additional cost to the spell, sacrifice a non-land permanent. Each opponent chooses a permanent they control that shares a type with it that sacrifices permanent and draws it. Or, and sacrifices it. And then I draw a card. Oh, that's cool. How many cards you got left? Just that was my last card and what in are you my sacrificing hand. as an additional cost here? I'm gonna help the table out. And I'm gonna sacrifice my aura enchantment. Oh. What the? Oh. You're really just going, Man, you're so handsome. You're just after me. Okay, so everybody sacrifices an enchantment? Yes. Sacrifices an enchantment. Sacrifices, yes. Shay, so that's your I'm god. I'm sorry, god. Shay. That gets around indestructible? Yes. Yes, okay. it does. And I will sacrifice aura shards. I guess it's it's done what it came to do, just in the wrong hands. And I will yep. draw a card. So sad. My poor artifacts. Our artifacts are already dead. <laughs> I got nothing but these four lands. And the, <laughs> after that, <laughs> I will play my land for turn, and it will be a swamp. <laughs> and then I'll pass. And, uh, what? Well, what? Yeah, I'm done. Yeah, we're good. You cast the Brash Taunter this turn, right? Right, but I could sack him to him, but oh, I okay. don't really want to do that. So. Gotcha. That's fair. I will draw for turn. I will play a tap land and pass my turn. Not much going on on that side of the table. No. Maybe I do have to focus on this guy now. Possibly. <laughs> James Bond. Yes. 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 Possibly. What, how often do you see James Bond versus gangsters? Yeah. <laughs> Not enough, that's for sure. Yeah. I'll pass the turn. <laughs> She's living on? in Groundhog Day over here. <laughs> I'm step, having a I'm, rough time. I'm, end step, I'm going to draw with Reckon or Bank Buster. Untap, draw. Move to combat. Luminar, Aspire, targets for Fiend. Okay. Cool. Attacks. I'm going to attack Ben in the air with Rafine, Scheming, Seer, and... I need to attack somebody with the Aspirant to try to get another trigger, so totally. I'm not trying to hate right. on anybody. I'll attack with Shay. She has more life than uh, Blake does, for one, on the ground. So can I have trigger? All right, draw two, discard two. I'm going to discard one land and one non-land, Unlicensed Hearse and Shipwreck Marsh. So one plus one plus one counter. So this is six in the air, Ben, from my commanda. All right, I'll play a scrub land, just for the scrubs. Your, your, your mana base dominance has ended. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now we're the scrubs. <laughs> Two mana. Gonna go for a lightning greaves. Does that resolve? Indeed. It does. We, uh, it does for me. Look really mad at me, Shay. I'm not. I'm just. Mm, uh, yes, it resolves. All right. Um, equip target Rafine. No response. No response. I will attempt to respond with a beast within targeting Rafine. Targeting Rafine. Mm-hmm. Oh. All right. Uh, ward trigger. Take one more. Yep. <laughs> and that resolves. So Rafine command zone for the second time. And you will get a beast. You got my beast? I'm gonna draw you a beast. Aw. Okay, are you ready for this beast token? Yeah. I'd prefer my commander. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fair enough. But look at this beautiful little guy. <laughs> are you sure you didn't? Curse of the Swine? <laughs> 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 
it. <laughs> uh, lightning Greaves attached to Luminar Gas Pirate. You're not going to keep the mm. beast safe? No. That's <laughs> oh. No, I can do better. <laughs> um, all you right. take that as an offense, Shay. It's not your fault. <laughs> oh, you should take that as an okay, offense. Shay, you should take That's it as an offense. Fair enough. Hi. Man, you're looking great in that suit. You look like oh, you thanks. could be a legitimate business person. <laughs> oh! I'm casting Witness Protection. This is a new enchantment aura for one blue that enchants creature. Enchanted creature loses all abilities, and it's a green and white citizen creature with base power and toughness 1-1 one, one, named Legitimate Business Person. Who are you putting that on? Well, that's the interesting part. Yeah. Let me read Brash Taunter. Brash Taunter says, <clears throat> fights another target creature. So if I turn your commander into a 1-1, one, one, just you just fight. Yep. Um, on the die. other hand, I'm really close to just being dead. Right. Um, it's kind of tough, actually. So yeah, that's a tough that's decision, a tough decision. Actually. I think I have to actually target your um, commander, because yeah. if I don't, Rash Taunter can fight the 6-6, six, six, right. swing and with the 6-6, six, six, and I die. Yeah. So I'm going yeah. to enchant your commander. Right. And he has to replay it, so. And then my turn yeah, is put that on done. All right. One tap. Huh? All right, time to go to work, legitimate business person. <laughs> yes. I'm gonna play a blighted woodland. Yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna tap three. Whoa. Yeah, tap three. Yeah, I'll fight the citizen, the legitimate business person. <laughs> Resolve. Uh, Let go from his job. Boom. There you go. Okay. In the command zone you go. And uh, whenever this is dealt damage. Yeah. Can't target the Luminar. Oh, yep. it's to an opponent anyway. Okay. Yep. Uh, Shay, your face, I guess. You're your highest besides me. So. One point. One point, yeah. <laughs> Fine. Yeah. I'll tap eight and replay my command. Uh-huh. Seems good. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I will pass after that. <laughs> All right. Let's see if I can draw something that does something. I will cast Animate Dead targeting a Rebrask. Resolves. Cool. Yep, no response. Sweet. Welcome to the party. I will then pay five mana and cast a Mirror Gallery. This says the legend rule does not apply. To anything? Anyone? To anything! Okay, interesting. Hmm. And I will move to combat. You don't want to attack me. You got one card in hand. I got one card. He's got a 3-3 three, three beast over yeah, there. He does, that's I scary. Have a three, four. I have a 4-4. Four, four. That is a fair assessment. I can crew the bank buster and block. Yeah. <clears throat> Arabrask, I think you're actually just going to hang out. Coward. <laughs> <laughs> well, on the board tricks, I'll play around. I'll, I'll happily get cards out of your hand, but... Go ahead, Shay. Keep in mind, you have to exile the card you draw here. You can play it until end of turn. Mm. Sorry, so, pal. Yep, if you like it, you gotta use it this turn. It is face up, right? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Show, show the world. Oh, it's a land! It's you may a play it. land. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> So enthusiastic. Um, is this Shay Salty? This is <laughs> Shalt. Shalt? <laughs> hey, hey, it's Salty Shay. Hey. How you doing? <laughs> can't, stay, can't stay salty like that. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, I'm going to tap one. Your gangster voice is great. For Skull Clan. Ooh, that's a good card. It is. Would be cool if I had some tokens. Be a lot cooler yeah. if it did. <laughs> Put it on. Poor Jet, poor Jet Mirror and the, and the tokens. Mm. Where are the tokens? I wish I knew. I'm going to pass the turn. It's like nobody is coming to the party that I invited I them to. That's really <laughs> sad. Right. So I'm going to <laughs> end step draw with Bankbuster. Draw. So this gets exiled. It is a reanimate. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you hear the uh, the air go right out of the room with that little reveal. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, that's exciting. He's going to have to lose life to do it, though. I am at an extremely low life total. Let's, uh, and also need to examine my options. I don't remember what's in everyone's graveyard. All right. I'm going to 
draw a card with Reckoner Bankbuster, removing the last counter. This is going to make a pilot token and a treasure. I'm going to crew Reckoner Bankbuster with the pilot token, turn it into a 4-4 tapped creature. I'm going to sacrifice my beast token, my pilot token, and my 4-4 Reckoner Bankbuster creature to flash back Dread Return. I'm going to put Dread Return on the stack, and I'm going to target Agent of Treachery. Wondering when that one would come back around. So, resolve, resolve, anybody? Um, Resolves for me. All right. Uh, thanks for the beast, Shay. It's very nice to throw in the graveyard. <laughs> All right. Agent of Treachery enters the battlefield. We're going to target Ben, your commander. Oh, yeah. There you go. Thank you. Sorry, buddy. You are not welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Blake. <laughs> yeah, I know you. I know you were talking to me. <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to cast reanimate. I'm going to target Karmic Guide. Yep. This is the two two that enters the battlefield and returns another creature from my awesome. graveyard to the battlefield. Okay. All right. So that's five damage to me. Or five life. Lose life. Five yeah. life. Okay. Mm. I'm going to target Elish Norn. Yep. Figured. <laughs> The Phyrexians are having a pretty high impact on this game. <laughs> yeah. They sure are. All right. Elish Norn enters the battlefield. All my creatures get plus two, plus two. All creatures I don't control get minus two, minus two. That should kill your Brash Taunter. <laughs> Sorry, Lame. pal. That's rough. <laughs> I'm going to equip Lightning Greaves. I'm going to choose Ben's commander. Well, at least he's got some booties now. <laughs> <laughs> Stylin. Stylin. I'm going to move to combat, and Luminarch Aspirant will put a plus one, plus one counter on itself. And I'm going to attack Ben with your own commander. <laughs> so sad. Can you, can you kill a player with their own commander, Dan? I was wondering. I that. hope so. We're gonna, we'll shall we track that just yeah, in case? Let's try. Okay. <laughs> so I'm attacking Ben for eight of your own commander damage and two damage from Luminarch, or four damage from Luminarch Aspiring. So. Why is uh, it eight? Elish oh, right, right. So this is a total, yeah, this is a total of 12 damage. Eight of it is your own commander damage, Ben. Okay. If you kill him with his own commander damage, you win the next three games. <laughs> just just immediately. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Does it hurt? Does it burn? Did it hurt when you fell from heaven? <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> All right. I'm going to move to combat. Or, I'm sorry. After combat, I'm going to move to end step. I'm going to sacrifice Karmic Guide to the Incinerator. I'm going to deal damage equal to its power to any target and create three treasure tokens. I'm going to target Urobrask because this hits for four, oh, and I'm going man. to make three treasures. Gross. <laughs> and then I'm done. Jeez. Oh, my God. That was a I wild target turn. Him, ben. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I top deck to reanimate, dude. It's a good draw. It's, <laughs> it's a heck good of draw. a card when you have a graveyard like this. Hey, I won't draw. You know how you guys bazooka bog my graveyard all the time? Yeah. This would be a good game to do it. I'll just start running a bazooka bog in every deck. <laughs> I know Ben does. Yeah. Not in every, every deck. I do it in quite a lot of decks. Okay, we've seen this card. We love this card. We're going to break some faces. Hey! <laughs> Professional oh, face breaker. Not my face. <laughs> Look who it is. Well, I, beep, 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 I, guess, <laughs> I guess we'll actually break some faces next turn because it doesn't have haste. <laughs> but then I'll tap four and sacrifice my Blighted Woodland to search for two basic lands. All right. And then I'll pay. I'll get a swamp and a mountain. My turn, I will play Arid Mesa. I'll crack it. I am going to grab a mountain. And and my turn. <sighs> okay. I'll pass the turn. <laughs> <laughs> she <laughs> thinks for a minute. Pass turn. <laughs> All right. On end step, I'm going to try to cast Tainted Indulgence. This is a new instant that can draw two cards, and I have to discard a card unless there are five or more mana values among cards in graveyard. I counted. All this, there are exactly five. Oh. <laughs> so you just draw two? Yep, it's a draw two. Seems good. No right. Then I will tap the tower and sacrifice two treasures, and I'll cast Esper Charm uh, to draw two cards. Okay. 
Seems good. Okay. And my turn. I'm going to play Urborg. So double. everything tap everything is double swamp. Double swamp. <laughs> and I'm going to go for six mana for a new card I've definitely not played before. And Tivit Seller of Secrets is a six mana six six legendary Sphinx Rogue. Has flying in ward three and it has Council's Dilemma. Whenever this enters the battlefield or deals combat damage to a player, starting with me, each player votes for evidence or bribery. For each evidence vote, I investigate, um, make a clue. And for each bribery vote, I create a treasure token. And while voting, I may vote an additional time. Jeez. So does that resolve? Is that when it yeah. enters or attacks? When it enters oh. or damages a player. Oh, jeez. Nice. Okay. Okay. All right, so um, I'm going to vote for <laughs> evidence <laughs> twice. How about you guys? Uh, bribery, mm. I guess. <clears throat> I'm definitely going evidence because if we give him both clues and treasure, that's a terrible combination for him to have. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's bribery and evidence? Yes. Okay, I'll, I think I'm gonna go evidence. Okay, so that's four evidence, one bribery. I will attempt to move Lightning Greaves to Tivit Seller of Secrets. Yep. I will use two treasures and my tower to cast another new card. This is Nimble Larcenist. This has flying, and when it enters the battlefield, target opponent reveals their hand. You choose an artifact, instant, or sorcery from among it and exile it. It's a 2-1 flyer. Does that resolve? From yep. me. Yep. I'll target Blake. You will now see the two cards that I've set in my hand forever. Quasi-duplicate, which creates a token of a creature I control, a cre copy, and it has jumpstart, and then fraying sanity. Yeah, I can't choose Frank Sanity, so I'm exiling Quasi-Duplicate. So for those of you at home wondering why I have done nothing with these two cards, <laughs> you see why. Whew. Can't untever the creature. Mm. All right, I'll move to combat. I'll put a counter on Ben's commander to oh. continue the quest. <laughs> and I will go to attacks. I will attack Blake with the Seller of Secrets. Shay, I'm also going to attack you with these creatures. And Ben, I'm attacking you with your commander. Okay. So this is nine damage from your commander, Ben. Okay. I'm taking eight off the Seller of Secrets. This is eight. Yep. Uh, yep, going at Blake against Shay. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. You know, 17 on your own commander damage. Yep. <laughs> All right, uh, trigger. Once again, we're going to do the voting. Mm -hmm. This time, I'm going to vote for the thing that gives treasures. So that's bribery, bribery twice. Okay, uh, what is it called? We need evidence. 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 I vote evidence as well. Shay? Yeah, I think evidence, right? Because treasures okay. are. Resources. He has no problem with cards in hand. Mm -hmm. right. He needs the mana. Realistically, yeah, is uh, the way is my thought process. Yeah. He's he picked treasures over clues. Right. Yeah. Okay. okay. Um, post combat, I'm going to move lightning greaves, and I'm targeting. I think I'm going to target Elish Norn now. Yeah. Makes sense. All right, and move to end step. I'm going to trigger with the incinerator. I'm going to throw Agent of Treachery for four damage to, we are at 17 Commander, so that's in range of next turn. Uh, I'm gonna four damage Shay with Agent of Treachery and make three treasures. She's got something and I don't know what it is and she keeps, she, that or her posturing's yeah, amazing. Cards, you keep poking me. Yeah? You keep poking me. Yeah? Yeah, you're gonna do something about it? I was gonna say, how much more does it take before you, yeah. do, you do something? I would like to respond with a Boros Charm, dealing four damage to you, target player. Oh yeah, oh, Shay, nice. yeah. let's go. Go in mode. Um, <laughs> yep, <laughs> I go to three. Oh man. How do we do, anyone got a lightning bolt? So do you take your four as well? Oh right, yep. All right, and I get the treasures. Then you're just deflecting palm. Then I'm done. Okay, I'll untap with my lands. Three, four. Those are swamps, technically. Uh, Jared, Golgaria Lich Lord. Ooh. He gets one, one for each creature card in my graveyard, which is two. So he's just a two, oh. two because of Elish Line. 
And for Golgarian 1, I can sacrifice another creature and each opponent loses life equal to the sacrifice creature's power. And I can sacrifice Ooh. a forest and a swamp That's and scary, return dude. Jared from my graveyard to my hand. That is scary. I'll pass. Charcoal type to pass. Oh my goodness. Uh, Shay, I need you to draw another Boros Charm Lickety Split. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. Please. I'll see what I can do. Oh, okay. Is this your only flying creature? That yeah. is untapped. That is untapped. It is. Yeah. I'll play Legendary Land. Legendary Rule actually doesn't apply to that land right yeah. now. Yeah. yeah. That's wow. right. <laughs> you can have two of those. <laughs> the other one doesn't have to go sleep with the fishes. And then. I mean, we're gonna tap for six. Meow. <laughs> demon cat. Whoa, yes, for Jetmir, the demon cat. Sometimes when you know the end is coming, you gotta party like it's 1999. Yep. He's, I, it's so sad, he's, he's, he's the last one in the club, just I he's, know. Dancing on, he's dancing on his own. <laughs> Just where'd everybody go? <laughs> Where's the party? It's like nobody came to my party. Oh man, they ran out of Halo. They all bounced. <laughs> it's terrible. Yeah. Okay, then I'm passing. All right. And nobody's gonna stop me. This this could be the end. It says meow. Oh. I'm not an artist. <laughs> Wait, what was this? Is this some kind of a cat token? <laughs> no, it's. It's the ultimate heart. <laughs> <laughs> oh oh my goodness. Thank you wouldn't you. dare. <laughs> we okay. gotta see him in all his glory. That's fair. I'll allow it. <laughs> He's got I will cry later. He's got swag. <laughs> Crying postponed to end step. <laughs> yeah. Give us us. I'll or put it on him when stuff. he dies. All right, I'm going to cast Smuggler's Copter. 3-3 three, three, flying uh, artifact vehicle. When it attacks or blocks, you may draw a card. If you do discard a card, has crew one. Not impressed. No. <laughs> no, no. All right, then I'll cast Baleful Strix. There's a 1-1 one, one flying death touch when it enters a battlefield, draw a card. I'm going to tap Baleful Strix. I'm going to crew Smuggler's Copter. I'm going to use Lightning Greaves to target Smuggler's Copter, giving it haste. Mm -hmm. Move to combat. Seems good. Mm -hmm. Luminarchus Pyrant. Plus one, plus one counter. We're going to target... Can't target the Smuggler's Copter. Can target any of these other things. Um, I'm gonna target Elish Norn. No, I'm not. I'm going to target Ben's Commander. I don't think I can kill everybody. I don't think so either. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. I can't mm -hmm. kill everybody. I can't kill everybody. <laughs> um, all right. Well then, Blake, since you don't have any ground blockers, I'm attacking you with Elish Norn and Luminarchus Pyrant. Actually, I've got to put the plus one plus one counter somewhere first. So I'm going to go on to, why not, Ben's commander. <laughs> and I'm going to swing at Blake with the ground creatures. That's Luminarchus Pyrant and Elish Norn, so that's eight on the ground. In the air, I'm going to swing at Shea for eight. Yep, eight. And then Ben, I'm swinging in the air for one, two, three, four, 10, 15. Is then that 10 at Shea because of Elish Norn? Yes, it is 10 at Shea, I'm sorry. Mm, 10, okay. Yep. And I'm going to trigger Smuggler's Copter, draw and discard. Take 17. Okay. And I take... This is eight. Eight, I believe. Yep. yep, eight. And I'll take 10. Wow. There's a low life total, guys. <laughs> it, it's it's, 15, it's actually enough. really scary. It um, is actually kind of scary. I'm going to move to the end step and I'm going to sacrifice the Baleful Strix 
and it's going to, nope, not the Baleful Strix. I'm going to sacrifice. Oh wait, we have a trigger here. Yes, oh we do. Yep, yep. this is a, actually an important one. Um, so I am going to vote for bribery, twice. <laughs> evidence for evidence. evidence. I will vote evidence. 10 evidence clues, eight treasures. One of these, and I'll play an even heart stabber. What? Whoa. Yeah. Delicious. <laughs> New card, 1-1 one, one flying. As long as there are five or more values, it gets plus two, plus two, and has death touch, which I do. So it's mm -hmm. a three, three, actually five, five death touch. And mm -hmm. when it dies, I mill two cards and I draw a card. I'm going to move to end step. I'm going to sacrifice something that can deal five, because I need Ben to go away before this Jared does the thing. So we're going to sacrifice the heart stabber. And that's going to deal five damage to your face, Ben. Trigger from your own commander. I'm going to draw a card and make three treasures. You yeah. stab me in the heart. <laughs> the biggest tragedy is that Ben didn't actually die to commander damage. I, I it thought about it. It was a smart play, uh, but it was a flavor sad. It was a flavor Flavors sad. Is there. But as a fellow Spike, I applaud your uh, good play. <laughs> All right. I couldn't finish the job that mm. turn. Let's see. That's one more draw to deal three damage to me. What do we got? I'm gonna cast a Maestro's Charm and have each opponent lose three life and I gain three life. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, oh that's, that's, you get to go look for a thousand I see cards. what you're doing. First of all, you gotta windmill spike that next time. That was, yeah. a, that was a very, very <laughs> calm casting of your spell. Um, all right, guys. I've got a few, got oh a few things God. I could draw here. Oh. This would kill both of us. It would. This would oh leave. my god. Oh my god. <laughs> no. Way. No way. All right. Um, uh, wow. Pay two tactic. treasures. Draw one card. Yeah, you got two cards to draw. Just going to turn them face. Okay, yeah, I'm yeah. just going face up for the content. Okay, right. the, my hand it. is not impressive. So, first card Esper Sentinel. Mm. Not quite. Not quite. All right. No. Second card Dobby Voidwalker. Not going to do it. No dice. <laughs> Third card, with four treasures and one land to go. Talisman of Dominance, oh, come not going to do it. <laughs> All right, one more, with two treasures and one scrubland left. Arcane Signet, <laughs> one treasure left. Last draw for the game. Okay, here we go. It's a land. <laughs> oh you have something God. to say? Peace in our time. <laughs> By any means necessary, Blake. By any means necessary. <laughs> I cherish charm. peace above all else. Each opponent loses three <laughs> yeah, life. That the... is insane. And you gain three life? <laughs> <laughs> The, was there any other card you Not could draw? Not a shot! No <laughs> way! <laughs> like, oh. That is unbelievable. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> the, new, the new cards are great, guys. That is <laughs> the most insane end of all time. <laughs> the top deck of the show, huh? Wow. Oh, it has to be. It, it has, has to be the to top be. deck of the show. It has to be the draw of the yeah. show. No way. <laughs> I can't believe it. Man. That was amazing. Well, I know my card in the game. Yeah. Where's I, that fraction? <laughs> yeah, I mean, should Where's we... that Frank's added? Uh, yeah, is there anything else to even say? Uh, ben, card of the game. I, I will have to say Fiendish Duo, because it was it's always a threat, but it was a threat right after a board wipe. And maybe if I had gone with my non-gut or gut feeling, I don't know which one it was, and swung it the second time at CGB, maybe I wouldn't have lost it to a Swords of Plowshares. <laughs> but, <laughs> that was a sad one. Yeah. He yeah. could have done more in the game if he had stayed, but oh well. That's all right. One of, one of Shay's great, like, you know, respect me moments here. You respect my <laughs> yeah. Naya. And I respect yeah. the respect. Mm. Shay, card of the game. This is kind of a tough one for me. Um, I almost want to give it to my yeah. spiteful Boros charm. It, it like I mean, set you up I for mean, the yeah. It, the dunk. It worked out. It in that ended way. up mattering. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. Wow. Well. All right. I'm. I'm not sure. Like my deck definitely popped off in a number of ways. Yeah. First off, this deck was sick. 
Yeah. <laughs> this is uh, awesome. As far as like reanimating, yeah. I think that having a commander like this that pretty much sets up your, re your reanimation on demand is really cool. Um, Elish Norn was really good. Agent of Treachery was really good. Living Death. You know, oh, it, it's yeah. already won a card of the game here before, and I did buy my foil living death on coolstuffinc.com, promo code CGB5, <laughs> because of what you did to us. Uh, and I thought I was going to get some vengeance with it today. I feel like I got a little, you but... You got kind of vengeance. I didn't. I didn't finish the job, you know? Mm. If you don't finish the job, this is what happens. That, uh, hey, <laughs> your body ends up in a river. You end up in the river. I do <laughs> like this card. It performs double duty. It gets cards into your yard and digs you to your reanimation spells. It's really yeah. good for that. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll give it to Rafine, like my that. commander. Really tied the room together, you know, like a good rug. Mm. But, Blake, I can't believe I'm going to bother asking. Card of the game? Maestro's Charm. <laughs> You know what? It's got two other abilities that I've never read. But it's got one <laughs> ability that I for sure did. Mm. And that is each opponent loses three life and I gain three. Ave Maria. Mm. Evil complete. Congratulations. You're going to be picking the comment. Uh, that is your favorite to win a Cool Stuff Inc. gift code for $50. So leave a comment. What did you think? Best top deck in Commander history? Thank you for watching this video. As always, we will see you in the next video. You are cool.